Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. My name is Salam al Mariyadi, President of the Muslim Public Affairs Council. In the video message, A Message to Muslims, by Jordan Peterson, we were very surprised because usually Mr. Peterson is very thoughtful, does his homework, and usually brings about points that people ponder upon and learn from. Yet in this video, it seemed that he was very unaware of the many things that are happening in Muslim communities throughout the world. He claims that we don't accept Jews and Christians as people of the book, which is exactly what the Quran says about Jews and Christians, and is exactly what our communities do in terms of treatment towards Jews and Christians. He thinks that there's a division in our communities in terms of Sunni Shia divisions. And in some cases, in some parts of the world, that is true. But what Mr. Peterson is guilty of is stereotyping exactly what he intended not to do. Because when you take a grain of truth and you sweep it over a whole people, that by definition is stereotyping. And he is evidently unaware that when it comes to war and anarchy in the Muslim majority countries, it started with colonialism and it ended in what we see today, whether it is the occupation of Palestine and Kashmir, the genocide against the Uyghurs in China or the Rohingya in Burma, the attempted genocide of the Bosnian people by a Christian country of Serbs. And we see a double standard in how we view the behavior of Muslims versus the behavior of others. When we look at the behavior of Christians that's violent, we consider it a, an aberration of their religion, of their book. Yet when we view violence committed by Muslims, we think that it is because they are being conservative or strictly abiding by their faith and their book. And so we have to do away with the double standard if we really want to move forward, and we believe we can do that in America. We can move forward and end this rivalry, this violent rivalry among faiths, among Islam, Christianity, Juda Judaism, and all faiths. And in fact, the Muslim Public Affairs Council has launched programs like the Mustard Seed that brings about peace and understanding between Muslims and evangelicals. We have done a series on Palestine and Israel, bringing Muslims, Jews, Christians, to talk about peacemaking initiatives and concepts that people are unaware of that can move us forward towards peace and justice in Palestine, Israel. We have done Sunni Shia unity forums. And so Mr. Peterson asked if there are initiatives out there to let him know. We're letting you know, Mr. Peterson, and we would like a response. So when you have a message to Christians, you say that you need to follow the Bible more. And I hope that you see that when you give a message to Muslims, the message is we should follow the Quran more. Because when it comes to the Quran or the Bible, it's the same message. To believe in one God, to believe in one human family, and to promote justice, mercy, compassion, and liberation throughout the world. Thank you. The Muslim Public Affairs Council has always been committed to building bridges of understanding with other faith communities. Recently, we have started a project called the Master Seed Project that targets specifically evangelical Christians. Um, we are aiming at uh, reaching out to this population that usually is not the population that is the easiest to reach out to, but we are aware of the importance of reaching out to evangelical Christians in this historical moment in which there is lots of division and polarization in the country and evangelicals surely uh, make up a very important component uh, of the American population with strong social, cultural capital and political influence. Um, historically, MPAC has had wonderful relationship with local leaders in Los Angeles, uh, both on the Jewish and Christian side, uh, but we're now trying to expand by reaching out to evangelicals all over the country and specifically in conservative
conservative parts. We have, until now, uh, done 40 events in partnership with what, the One America Movement uh, in Phoenix, in Costa Mesa, in Chicago, and in Cincinnati. And we aim at expanding it in the future to build together a stronger democracy in the United States. On a more personal level, I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Sociology at uh, the University of Southern California, uh, and I've always studied intergroup relationship, especially across religious difference and matters of inclusion in the uh, American civic sphere. Uh, I believe on the importance of projects like the Master's Seed to bridge the divide across religious difference, uh, because as Robert Wood now recently wrote, who's a famous sociologist at Princeton, recently work, uh, wrote wrote, uh, religious difference is very enriching for American democracy and can be very enriching, but we have to use the power uh, of religious difference in a positive direction in building a better democracy for all.